The Trax trailer mover is relatively simple to use. On the indicator panels we have on off, fast and slow and also the reverse indicator. So you switch it to on, initially starting slow. Then you have your throttle up on the top here. This button is the reverse selector. When you press the reverse button, you'll notice the reverse light that is also indicated. On top, you also have a battery status indicator. I'll put it back into forward. The reverse light is no longer showing. Pressing down on the throttle will move the device forward. Once you get more familiar with this, you may be able to switch it into fast mode. What you want to do, I'm going to switch it into fast mode. We want to line it up so it's in line with the trailer. So the ball is under the trailer. We lower it down. So the trailer is sitting on the ball, just like you do on a normal car. Lift the jockey. Lock the ball in. Now most importantly, you want to grab this lever. make sure that the bottle jack is release valve is tightened fully clockwise pump the jack until it's nice and tight as tight as you can get it return the lever and what that does, it actually makes the Trax trailer mover at one with the trailer. Now we can guide it into the, sh into the storage shed. You also notice in front of the storage shed, we have these ramp mats, which just make it easier to get it up and over the front lip of the trailer, of the storage unit. So using the accelerator, we can now guide it into the storage unit. And it's as easy as that. Now you just reverse it, put your I want to grab the lever, release the bottle jack. Turn the lever, unlock the ball, lift it off, and then return the trailer and move it to home.